Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna be talking about how to properly store, freeze, thaw, combine, and travel with your breast milk. So let's get right into it. So first things first, I do wanna mention that we are gonna be going by the CDC guidelines and their recommendations on how to properly handle and care for your breast milk. So let's talk about milk storage. Whenever you're handling your milk, it's really important that you start by washing your hands and having them really nice and clean. Now, when you're storing your milk, it's really important to know that you're going to need some sort of sealed tight containers. This is really important because this is gonna help protect the quality of your breast milk while it's being stored. So here are some of the containers that I use to store my breast milk in. But a lot of the pumps that you pump with also come with caps so when you're all finished pumping you can just place a sealing cap right on the top and you can store your milk in these as well. Now when you're freezing your breast milk you're going to want to make sure that you have some sort of breast milk storage bags that were intended for freezing breast milk. It's never recommended to store your breast milk in disposable bottle liners or plastic bags that aren't intended for freezing breast milk. It's also always best to label your containers so that you're not confusing or mixing up milk from a certain date or time. I personally use dissolvable labels and these are really nice because when I clean out my containers, these labels just dissolve right underwater and I don't have to worry about them leaving a sticky residue on any of my milk storage containers. Now, the CDC recommends that your freshly expressed or pumped breast milk is going to be good left out at room temperature for up to four hours. Now, personally for me, I leave my freshly pumped milk out between four to six hours. I sniff it and I will do a little taste test if I need to, just to know that my milk is fine. So let's say you just pumped and you know that your baby is gonna be eating within four hours. You can just leave that breast milk out and you can serve that breast milk in a bottle to your baby within the four hours. Now let's talk about storing your milk in the refrigerator. The CDC recommends that you can store your milk in the refrigerator for up to four days and it's always best to place your milk in the back of the fridge. And for freezing your milk, it's recommended that your milk can stay in the freezer between six to 12 months, depending on the type of freezer you have. So let's say you have a deep freezer, you can store your milk in that deep freezer for up to the 12 months. It's also never recommended that you place your frozen or refrigerated breast milk on the door of the freezer or the refrigerator due to temperature changes. And let's talk about storing your breast milk when you're gonna be traveling. You can store and transport your breast milk in an insulated cooler bag with ice packs around it for up to 24 hours. And once you get to your destination, you can refrigerate, freeze, or you can serve the milk right there to your baby. And once your breast milk has been cooled, it should stay cool until your baby drinks it. Now let's talk about serving your breast milk from the fridge. You'll notice that once you refrigerate your breast milk, there's going to be a fat layer on the top. It's very important that you don't shake this up to mix that fat in with the rest of the milk. I personally just like to use these little bamboo skewers to mix that fat layer in with the rest of my milk. Now, there are a few different ways that you can heat up your refrigerated breast milk. You can heat up the breast milk right in a bottle warmer. You can run your breast milk under warm water, or you can place your breast milk into a bowl of warm water and heat it up that way. You'll want to make sure that you're never using really hot water because this can damage the nutrients in your breast milk. And just to note, it's never recommended that you heat up your breast milk in a microwave or on a stove top as this too can also damage the nutrients in your breast milk and it can also create hot spots in the milk. And once you take that milk out of the fridge and you warm up that breast milk, you're gonna wanna use that breast milk within two hours. And just a little side note, all babies are different, so you don't necessarily need to warm up your breast milk and serve it to your baby. Some babies don't mind taking a cold bottle. Now let's talk about freezing your breast milk. 
You can either freeze your freshly pumped or expressed breast milk as soon as possible, or you can store it in the refrigerator and then freeze it from there if you haven't used it within the four days. If you know that you're absolutely not going to be using that breast milk, it is always best to freeze it as soon as possible. So here are the Lancinol freezer bags. They come with the date, the amount of ounces, your child's name if they're in childcare, and the time that you pumped at. So personally for me, I'm just gonna be filling out the date and the amount of ounces that I'm going to be freezing. So here's what they both look like. Now I'm just gonna be getting them prepared and ready to pour my milk inside of. Now here's that fat layer that I talked to you guys about. So once I open this up, I'm going to be grabbing one of my bamboo skewers. And it's really important that when you're handling your bamboo skewers or whatever you're gonna be mixing your milk in, that you don't touch the part that's gonna be going in the milk. So now I'm just gonna be swirling that fat layer in and getting it all off of the sides. So now I'm just going to place that down and I'm gonna be opening up my freezer bags and I try to never stick my fingers in the freezer bag. So instead, I place one of my phalanges right in there. Not only does it help prevent my fingers from going inside of the seal of the bag, but it also helps the milk to just go in there a lot nicer and easier and prevent spills from happening. So now I'm gonna be trying to get as much of the air and the bubbles out as I can. It's not always gonna be perfect, but I do my best to get as much air before I seal it off. Now in my freezer, here's some milk that I have, and as you can see, they're nice and flat. But in my freezer, I have these grooves. So if I were to place my freezer bags in there, they would freeze with bumps on them. So in order to prevent this, I just grab something flat like a cooking sheet or a cutting board and I'll place that right into my freezer and then I'll grab my freezer bags and I'll place them right onto there and once they're nice and flat and frozen you can store them and place them into the containers of your choice. Now let's talk about thawing your breast milk. When you're thawing your breast milk you can run your breast milk under warm water you can also place it in a bowl of warm water and let it thaw that way as well or you can take the breast milk out of the freezer, place it into your refrigerator, and you have up to 24 hours to let that breast milk thaw in your fridge. Now, just like your refrigerated milk, you're never gonna wanna thaw your breast milk in the microwave or on a stove top. If you're gonna be thawing your breast milk, you'll always want to thaw your oldest breast milk first because over time, the quality of your breast milk can decrease. And if you're gonna be thawing your breast milk in the refrigerator, you're gonna to wanna to use it within 24 hours. Now it's important to note that the 24 hours won't start from the time that you took the breast milk out of the freezer and placed it in the refrigerator. That 24 hours is going to start once your milk has completely thawed. And once your breast milk is bought to room temperature or thawed, you're gonna to want to use that breast milk within two hours. And one last important thing is, once you take that breast milk out of the freezer and thaw it, you cannot refreeze that breast milk again. Now let's talk about combining your breast milk. You can mix refrigerated breast milk with other refrigerated breast milk, but it's important to note that your breast milk will expire from the earliest date of the milk that you're using. So let's say you're combining cold milk from March 12th and March 14th. You're going to want to label that milk and date it from March 12th. You can also combine your room temperature milk with each other. So let's say you are pumping at two o'clock and then you pumped again at four o'clock. You can combine those milks together. However, that milk expiration will start from the two o'clock time. So you'll have four hours from two o'clock and then your milk will expire at six o'clock. It's also not recommended that you mix room temperature milk with refrigerated milk. And it's also not recommended that you mix room temperature milk with frozen milk. Storing and caring for your breast milk can seem like a lot of work and at times it can be a lot of work, but we always wanna make sure that we're always protecting the quality of our breast milk and taking good care of it in the process of storing and handling it. 
I really hope that today's video was helpful for you guys. If you did find it helpful, I would really appreciate it if you guys give it a big thumbs up and drop a comment down below if I missed any of your guys' questions. As always, I hope that you all have a blessed day and a blessed week, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!